Today we are going to talk about QDA Minor Lite. Now QDA Minor is a software that is normally used for qualitative data analysis. But it can serve uh, really well uh, to help researchers do their literature review. Because nowadays we are searching through or we have got maybe hundreds of research papers written and we are looking for specific information. So QDA Minor can help you retrieve that information. There are two versions of QDA Minor. One is QDA Minor, that is full version. And then QDA Minor Lite, which is the free version. So we are going to use the free versions. What you can do is just go to Google, type QDA Minor Lite and click this link here. And once you do that, you are taken to this page. And what you can do here is to download, give your name, let's say Latif and your email. Submit and you are taken to the download link. Here it is. Just click here to download the software. I've already got it, so just I'm going to run it. Just type in QDA Miner or just click the icon on your desktop. And once you see this screen, click Use Free Edition. In this case, we are going to create a new project. Create a project from a list of documents, create a blank project or import an existing data file. In this case, we are creating a new project. And what you see is now you are required to import the data files. So what it does is it can import TXT, RTF, DOC, DOCX, WPD, HTM, HTML, PDF, DRS. In this case, we are interested in searching through research papers. So you locate your folder where you have kept your research papers. In this case, I've kept it in my Google Drive. So here it is. If you just click the Google Drive, it won't show the folders here. It will only show the files. So you can obviously have different types of files. You can have text files, PDF files, Word files, or different types of files. So in this case, you have to click this plus button and go down the tree. I think I've kept it here somewhere. And just hold on. This is the papers folder. So what you can do is you can import the whole folder by clicking this button import once you are through to the folder that you want to import. These are quite a few number of files. So not a single file, but the whole folder. So if you want to import single file, just click add and it will add. Or if you want to remove certain files, you can do that. And in this case, all papers import. Yes, if you want to include subfolders, if there are any. And I'm interested in my PDF files, so OK. There are 382 files. That's quite some files, so it will take some time. Yes, create. So now you are to create your own QDA minor light project file. In this case, let's name it SL Research. And click Save. And now it's importing. It will take some time, so just you have to wait. OK, now all files are imported. And this is the workspace for QDA minor light. Now, if you see, this is cases. So each of the document is referred to as a case. Since QDA minor light is used for qualitative data analysis and in qualitative data analysis, for example, we are we, we, we normally are conducting interviews doing doing a focus group discussion or any other type of uh, uh, data collection. So normally it refers to uh, a single document or a single respondent as a case. In this case, it's referring to the document as a case. In another, or if you're doing qualitative data analysis, it will refer to one respondent as a case. Or there could be multiple cases as well. And uh, in each of the case, there could be multiple documents. Here is variables. So with each case, with each document, there could be different variables associated. And in this case, it's just the file name and the type and it's a document, the type is document. If you're doing qualitative analysis, it could be the respondent's name, his position, job tenure, or any other variable that we normally do in research. This is code. So a combination of quotes, 
or text within a research or within a study can serve as code so for instance now if you 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 can define your own this is more applicable when you are doing your qualitative data analysis for instance in this case let's say this is something that we are interested in and might be used in our research so what we can do is once we select it we can define a code let's say this is related to uh, let's say for example dark side of servant leadership and we define it under a category servant leadership okay let's say this text for instance is also related to dark side of servant leadership so you can use or create these codes while you are reading through the documents and what you do is once you select this text you can drop in here and drop it here but in this case in this the objective of this video is not to code text the objective is to use it for literature review so what you do is once you have got the documents here the next step the simple step is go to retrieval and then go to text retrieval retrieval text retrieval in this case we are interested in searching in documents you don't have anything else the document is one of the variable and we are interested in searching in sentences you can search the whole document a single paragraph a sentence or coded segments like the codes that you have created in this case we are interested in searching individual sentences and we are interested in searching for example this text servant for example my the objective of my study is to assess the impact of servant leadership uh, on say motivation now i've got all these 300 plus papers on servant leadership and i want to extract the text where there is servant leadership and motivation in a single sentence so instead of reading all these papers what i'll do is i'll write servant leadership put it in quotes so it searches the whole phrase and the next is motivation and the whole words are searched i don't want to add any variables because there are aren't any i just want to search these 300 plus documents for sentences where servant leadership and motivation are coming or these two words are coming in a single sentence click search now what happens is there are 237 sentences where you've got this text where there in a single sentence you've got servant leadership and motivation so this is the case in the fifth document if you click this this is the sentence understanding the relative effects of lmx and psychological empowerment will allow, allow us to make a theoretical contribution by testing the salience of social exchange theory and intrinsic motivation theory as individual level psychosocial processes by which servant leadership leads to followers to engage in sorry to, uh, leads followers to engage in ocb now this is one single sentence and it has got these two words in it do you think that this sentence will explain the impact of servant leadership on or motivation if yes you can define a code for it so or you can put it in existing code but this let's define a new code let's say servant leadership and motivation and this comes under servant leadership category or you can define a new category as well and let's put this or you don't if you don't want to put this in this particular what you can do is leave it and go to the next one or you can code all these together code all hits and in this case let's say uniqueness here relates to our previous treatment and now this way you can search or look into all these sentences 237 sentences you don't have to read through all the documents just read through these sentences and see which one fits and then you can add into your codes and finally then you can write your literature so this is one sing single example of using text retrieval in qda minor light to find out uh, if two variables come together or if there is a relationship expressed between two variables in existing research let's do another example let's say i'm looking for definitions of a particular concept so go to retrieval text retrieval and in this case I'm looking for servant leadership and its definition. 
but definition does not always come with the word let's say servant leadership is defined as it could it could come as servant leadership refers to servant leadership is defined as or servant leadership points to so what you can do is you can use a wild card character asterisk how do you use an asterisk let's say um, defined it could be servant leadership is defined as or or maybe green leaf defines servant leadership as now in this case there is one variant with a d and one variant with an s so what you can do is instead of writing the whole word you can write define so it could be defined or defines or it could be point so points to or pointed to or you can or there is another variant referred to or referred or refers to so and put all these in parenthesis parenthesis and just click search and let's see what happens there are 280 hits now let's see this one specially of servant leadership with its focus on a gap love as as is the starting point for servant leadership shows overlap to human orientation well this does not make any sense for it, actually servant leadership may servant leadership okay uh, many factors may explain which some employees are more engaged with work than others but previous research points to a crucial role played by supervisors leadership style suggesting a positive relationship between transformational leadership and work engagement now see servant leadership there, there is servant leadership in this sentence and there is points in this sentence but this sentence is not of use to us so we can go for others let's say maybe any other let's say this one again might not be useful now this is uh, this is this might be useful servant leadership refers to a leadership stance more than a leadership style so something might be useful so this is how you can easily search using different expressions now for instance let's change the expression and let's say we are searching for the ed the evolution of servant leadership so maybe in 1980s how did servant leadership behave in the 1980s so what you can do is 198 not aesthetic but hash and press search so there are 150 hits and see okay servant leadership has not been rigorous in the application of psychometric principles associated with the construct validity in scale construction so that was the opinion in opinion based on the scale development process provided by churchill and anderson and gerbing but this does not show us anything about servant leadership in 1980s or maybe something like this so now here what i am doing is th then you have to obviously search through this text or all these codes that are evaluated and find out if they are usable to you or not and then if they are usable you can put them in existing codes or define a new code in order to put them define a new code just click this define new code in order to put it in an existing code just select the code and put it in you can put all these codes in here just just by clicking all hits and it will be coded let's let's say let's do it let's all this yes okay now all of them are done and let's close it and uh, let me give you an example here okay now you want to so show or you want to see what are the codes in this particular or what are the codes in this particular code or any particular code what you can do is just go to retrieval and coding retrieval so actually we did put it in i guess the other one so let's go this and search and if you click this it will take you to the codes let's see yes for example you think that this is not important now so what you can do is just right click on it and remove coding so this is how you can obviously remove the codes as well remove coding by right clicking on the code itself remove coding so this is how you can remove coding as well let's do a few more searches as well in order to understand it better let's say now i'm interested in 
writing let's say i'm writing about servant leadership and uh, life satisfaction or project success or something related to projects so what i'll do is project instead of putting it in quotes i can put an underscore and separate the text and use underscore as a uh, separator of space now it will search the whole phrase project success in the whole word whole the whole words will be searches and sentence not in the paragraph but sentence will be searched search now it found only one hit this shows that there is so much gap in the literature on servant leadership and uh, project success so this is the only thing that it found so relating knowledge leadership or knowledge oriented leadership or contributes to the knowledge of leadership more specifically on servant leadership in project organizations or project management so you can change the search expression as well for example let's say i'm writing about servant leadership and or for instance let's say we are searching for a concept that is known by different names let's say uh, let's say project success or project underscore performance search so we do not need to add servant leadership because all these cases all these documents are related to servant leadership so there are there is only one document that talks about uh, this particular phrase or has got these phrases so this is how you can use qda minor light for literature search just add the documents and use these different search phrases or using these uh, uh, wild wild card expressions and and or to search for a different text just for example let's uh, if you add an and and select sentence so it will search for both these phrases in the single sentence this is something that is very good this is something that is not actually available in some other softwares i can't name them but uh, this is uh, this this is where uh, qda minor light actually scores for me i hope the video would have helped you understand or helped you um, made your life easier uh, doing your literature review thank you